you like to lose weight or know somebody or work with somebody that wants to lose weight? Or have you ever known somebody that, you know, they've, they've gone to the gym every day and they're stuck to an amazing food plan and they're wondering why they're just not getting results still? Have you ever thought about why that is? Isn't it fascinating that, you know, when somebody wants to lose weight, they normally go to the gym, they get a personal trainer, they start with a nutritionist or they start eating healthy. We've all heard the saying, abs are made in the kitchen. Yes, this is true. But even more important than fitness and nutrition is our mind. Because if our psychology isn't conducive to achieving the results we want, then we're just going to self-sabotage or get yo-yo results or procrastinate or not feel motivated in achieving those results. So the key is understanding how our mind works and how our own mind works because they're all different. And that stems from how we speak to ourselves. There's a process known as neuroplasticity, which says that, and this is a, a fairly new science. Um, if you're interested in finding out more about neuroplasticity, there's a, a cool book called The, the Brain That Changes Itself. Um, grab that book, an amazing book that talks more about neuroplasticity and how that works. But anyway, anyway, what neuroplasticity says is that what we think at the conscious level will literally rewire the unconscious mind, which is fascinating. So what we think about on a regular basis will imprint that in the unconscious and then form beliefs and then we'll think and feel about those. So say for example, do you remember when you were young and you learnt the timetables? You know, you remember the timetables, three times three is nine. 6 times 6 is, yeah, 13 times 13 is, oh, they didn't teach us that one, did they? So, and we did that through repetition. And you're doing this all day, every day. And what I've noticed is in the program that I put together called Mental Vitamins, Becoming an Athlete of the Mind, to help people understand how their mind works in the context of losing weight and, and body transformation, is that what we, but there's three main elements. I'm going to speak to you about the first one. The most important one in what we say to ourselves is what we say I am. Because what we say I am and what we follow, what follows that will literally shape our reality. For example, if I say I am an alcoholic, then my behaviors, thoughts, actions, speech has got to be in alignment with that. So if I say I am overweight and I walk around all day saying I am overweight, even in my mind, even if I'm not constantly thinking that, then wouldn't you agree that our behavior, our thoughts, our emotions are either going to be in, in alignment with that? So we need to switch that. So the first step is becoming aware of that. So I'm going to invite you as of now to become aware of what you're saying when you say I am and begin to shift that into a positive. You know, as an example, I've, I've, you quite often hear something like this. Somebody wants to lose weight and, you know, they want to lose 20, 30 kilos. And whether you're a personal trainer or you want to lose weight yourself, you can probably use this information. And I use this with everybody that I work with on any level is... You know, oh, I am overweight, you know, so you're supposed, you're supposed to go to the gym tonight, you're meant to go to the gym, but your friend's going out for dinner, so you decide to go out for dinner, because it's normal, you are overweight, you've got to act accordingly. So then you're out for dinner, and then, you know, that you decide you're going to eat healthy, but everybody else gets a, you know, gets a cocktail and has some pasta, so you're like, oh, you know, you know, I probably should eat healthy, and I should go to the gym, and then you're shooting all over yourself, right? And then, you know, then what happens when you, if you say you should do something and you don't, you feel guilty. Now the problem, the brain doesn't rec recognize command negations, which means don't think of me in a pink leotard right now. What are you thinking about? So when, when you think of, when you feel guilty about the things you should do, you attach them to what you're thinking about, which is the gym. So then you think about the gym and you attach guilt to those. Is that going to motivate you to go to the gym? Of course not. So then the next day you wake up and then you go, oh, it's okay because I tried. And we know the word try denotes failure. And if you think about this and talk to your clients about this or go in through in your own mind, if you do this, you'll probably find you do. So first of all, begin to shift. I am fit and healthy and strong. I am getting stronger. I am getting fitter. I am healthy. I am lean. I do have a six pack. So that I am is really powerful. Turn your shoulds into your must. Eliminate shoulds and turn them into must. I must go to the gym because of what that's going to mean for me and how that's going to make me feel. It's going to make me feel happy. It's going to make me feel motivated. It's going to make me feel fulfilled. It's not about losing weight. It's about the person that makes us become or we become. And eliminate the word try. We know that. Eliminate try. Okay, try denotes failure. I tried to go to the gym. I tried to quit. So remember those three elements and apply those in your weight loss. And I'd love to hear your feedback and how you go with those.